Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the half-life of palladium-100 is four days. So half of any given quantity of 100 PD will disintegrate in four days. And the initial mass of a given sample is one gram. So we're asked to find the mass that remains after 16 days. So on day zero, we have one gram. Four days later, it's cut in half from one to 0 0.5. Four days later, it's cut in half again. 0 0.5 becomes 0 0.25. Four days later, cut in half again, becomes 0 0.125. And finally, on day 16, after four reductions, one, two, three, four, we're left with 0 0.0625 grams. We're going to use the relationship that we just found here to find the mass, m of t, that remains after t days. So we start with one gram, but we multiply it by one half t times, where t is the number of repetitions of multiplying by 0 0.5. So if t is 2, then we're multiplying it by 0 0.5 twice to get 0 0.25. However, we're not reducing by half every day, it's every four days. So every four days, we want this exponent to go up by one. So we have to divide by four. So if t is four, on day four, four divided by four is one, that's one reduction. Eight divided by four is two. 12 is three. 16 is four reductions. So m of t is equal to, the one doesn't even matter, 0 0.5 to the t over four we are asked to find the inverse of this function. So if m of t equals 0 0.5 to the t over four, then t is equal to 0 0.5 to the inverse of m over four. You have to swap the variable and the function to find the inverse. So we have an exponential here we want to get this function out of the exponent. So we turn this into log base 0 0.5 of t equals the exponent, the inverse function over 4. Over here, we have log base 0 0.5 of t. This is equal to ln of t over ln of 0 0.5, right? We do this because it's easier to deal with the natural log than log base 0 0.5. And to solve for the inverse function, we'd have to just have to multiply both sides by four. So this cancels and we're left with the inverse function of m is equal to four ln of t over ln of 0 0.5. This is your function and it represents the inverse relationship. Right? So m of t is mass in terms of time. So therefore, this is time in terms of mass. So d, when we're asked when will the mass be reduced to 0 0.01 grams, this is time in terms of mass. So if we plug in a mass, we get a time. So m inverse of 0 0.01 equals 4 times ln of 0 0.01 over ln of 0 0.5. You can put this into your calculator and you'll get that it happens at roughly 26.6 days. And by finding the inverse function, we are able to calculate this easily because it represents the opposite relationship of what we found in A, which is mass over time. 